What is everybody? It is Cobra One Four Six here yet again with another video, and today it's uh, my TLC's tables, ladders, chairs, and stairs pay-per-view review on what the great show it was. Sarcasm, sarcasm, if you can sense that. Um, before I get off, I want to thank each and every single one of my subscribers that has viewed my videos, that's watched me over the past year since January of 2013, or if you've hopped on the Codebreaker 146 train somewhere midway down the line in the summer of 2013, or just yesterday, or whenever, I want to thank you for subscribing to me. It really means a lot. I always get a smile on my face when I see a new subscriber uh, that's that's on my channel, and I really appreciate that, and I want to... And, I want to thank you. There'll be a separate video addressing this, but I really want to thank you for letting me reach past the 600 subscribers. My goal was to get 500 um, by Christmas, and I definitely exceeded that goal uh, very well. And I got 100, over 100,000 total video views, so I really appreciate that. But, um, but let's get to this. Um, but first off, another side note here. This is not the highlights of a show. Some people could not read the title that said review clearly. I will not emphasize this enough. This is a review. This is a review. This is a anal. This is uh, analysis. This is um, me talking about this fantastic show that was tables, ladders, chairs, and stairs. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and get on to it. The main roster going into this set, I heard they were motivated to try to do better than the great show, which it was a great show that um, NXT TakeOver or Evolution put on. However, they didn't seem that motivated when it came to the product that went on uh, during the show. I was really uninspired of watching the show, and it met my expectations and what I thought it was gonna what was gonna happen. Uh, the New Day. One and beat Goldust and Stardust didn't really see that much of the match. Didn't really care, also. Uh, so, but we open off the show later. Ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship. Luke Harper came in as the champion. Face off Ziggler. Ziggler's hometown of Cleveland. Um, was definitely a good match. Not the greatest ladder match. I, um, I was expecting just a little bit more, but it was a good, fun, crisp uh, ladder match that had a lot of good spots in there. We saw some blood here and there. We saw a lot of blood actually tonight. Um, what would you expect being this is the Demolition Derby that is tables, ladders, chairs, and stairs. Um, uh, you know, it was just, you know, you power bombs, you had, uh, super kicks, you had a lot of good stuff going around, especially they used the ladder, they involved the ladder and using a lot of involvement, which is a lot of times, uh, not shown a lot in showcase in a ladder match. They just normally get one or two ladders, and they don't normally emphasize and use the ladder as a weapon. They really did that um, here tonight. A lot of cool spots. Luke Harper dove on top of the ladder, on top of Dolph Ziggler, landing on his arm. Um, kind of like Chris Benoit and Jericho from the uh, ladder match at Royal Rumble 2001, even though Jericho hit him with a chair on the way down. Um, there's a lot of cool spots here and there. Ziggler won with a super kick off the ladder, and Ziggler is still in kind of championship again. I thought they were going to give the Ziggler the title and kind of push him more into the main event, uh, just a little bit more in the main event and upper amongst the card, but I guess they're going to give him the Intercontinental Championship. I thought it was unnecessary for him to have the Intercontinental Championship, and I also thought it was unnecessary for Luke Harper to have the uh, Intercontinental Championship as well. So I'm pretty sure Luke Harper will feud with Eric Rowan, and Ziggler will probably just defend the title off until they kind of give him a spot in the main event. Um... Anyway, uh, WWE Tag Team Championship match followed this Miz and Miz down versus the Usos. Again, one of these fun co comedical matches. Had a storyline going into it with Naomi and the Miz. Um, whatever. Miz down was great like he always is, but the Miz and Miz down win by disqualification. And, they'll probably, and the Usos will probably have a rematch on Raw tonight, or they'll actually have a match, um... Maybe at the Rumble. I don't know if they're gonna carry the storyline out for six more weeks, but... We'll see. Steel Stairs match. This match was a five-star classic. I cannot tell you how more pleased I was with this garbage. This match was complete, utter ass. That was what exactly what it was. There's no other way of wording it, but it was just some ass. Let me just tell you that right now. Okay? And I normally... I know we don't say those things when it comes to matches, like I always say it's horrible and garbage, but that is exactly what it was. This match was boring, it was uninspiring, the crowd didn't care, I didn't care, and they did certainly did not make this special whatsoever, being the first Steel Stairs match of all time. God almighty, Big Show wins. 
so finished. He puts the stairs over Eric Rowan. There's what a big strip the game. Absolutely nothing. Tables match John Cena Rollins. Oh lordy, here we go. Not a bad match, but it wasn't good at all. I mean, I don't. I don't. I just. Um, I watched my friend John, uh, John's review from Anything Go show. I said there was a lot of overbooking, and there was. Um, I thought the both men going through the table was unnecessary. I didn't think that there was no point in having them both go through the table and have the whole, oh, I'm the winner, no, oh, I'm the winner, and the referees were contemplating on who's the winner and stuff. It just, it, it didn't seem like it was the right place or the right time to do this at, at all. It just. It wasn't necessary, like I said. Then Big Show came down there. Then Roman Reigns returned. And that was actually... And for those of you that think I just hate Roman Reigns, I actually tried to give him a chance here. And, um... Yeah, I gave him a chance. And then he speared Big Show to the table. Pretty cool. I'm, ha I'm happy. I'm liking it. Roman Reigns intense. Superman punch. There we go. Cena wins. Of course, Cena's gonna win because he's John Cena. He's, I mean, he's John Cena. I mean, come on. He's John Cena. They, I mean, it's just, it's just, it was just, it was just overbooked. I mean, a lot of stuff was not needed. I mean, Mercury and Noble, they were pretty much fighting Rollins' battle because Rollins can't win a match cleanly. Because Rollins is incapable of winning a match without Mercury and Noble's help. J&J &J security. Um, they took the table a lot from John Cena. Um... A lot of the time, Cena put Rollins through the or he puts Rollins through the table, and the referee didn't see it. I mean, it was just oh, oh man. Cena like AA two cruiserweights, and everybody was flipping out in, the, in like Cleveland. Like, are you serious? He just he took pretty much a 185 pound guy and another 185 200 pound guy and lifted him up on his shoulders. Well, what was spectacular about that? WrestleMania 25, I can see the spectacular ness of that. If that's even a word or in context. Um... But yeah, it was just again, it was, it like my like my friend John said, it was a John Cena showcase. That's all it was, just there to show John Cena's strength and how powerful and how great he is and how he's going to be a 16-time world champion, baby, at the Royal Rumble. And now we're gonna get on to the Divas Championship match: Nikki Bella versus AJ Lee. And Nikki Bella won six uh, chairs matches, six segment, six match of the night. Kane versus Ryback. Ryback wins. There, no, nonetheless, I don't want to say anything more, and I don't want to talk about this um, more than I need to. U.S. title match rehash: Rusev versus Jack Swagger. <sighs> Jack Swagger once again passed out and tapped out. Like this, it was like one of those Batista taps out that you saw. Remember WrestleMania 26 where he like did this like little faint tap out, kind of what Jack Swagger did. It was dumb. I I I don't think they needed to have Rusev face Jack Swagger again, especially for the U.S. title. They just pretty much said, you know what, we don't have anything for Rusev, but we're gonna put him on the pay per view anyway because we need to build him up and give him a pay per view win. So we'll just send him at Jack Swagger again. That was probably what happened in the creative meetings for WWE. TLC match closed the show. Ambrose versus Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt wins the match here. A lot of good stuff in this match. A fun, uh, fun match. A lot of cool spots. Again, like I said, uh, uh, Ambrose dove off of the uh, pre-show panel thing. We ran across it and gave like a flying forearm to Bray. Uh, they definitely used the table a lot. They used some chairs here and there. They used um, a ladder in there. Uh, in the beginning, they should have talked about the rocking chair and everything like that. Um, just did a lot of good spots in here involving each one of the elements of TLC. Um, we knew going in here is going to be a good, solid match, but I really was expecting them to do a little bit more. I mean, I really was. It, once it was getting really good, and I was getting into it, when Ambrose put him through like three tables in there, why hit the sister Abigail after the, two, after the second table bump, I mean, and after all this cool stuff is going on, you know, you're thinking, oh, it's getting really good. And then all of a sudden, the finish happened. And that's when Ambrose grabbed a TV all of a sudden out of nowhere under the ring, pulled a TV, and kept yanking it. And then eventually, the wire came loose, and then it just exploded in his face. Mm. I'm not, now I'm no electrician. I am no cable man whatsoever, but I'm pretty sure... That a little 14, maybe even 20 inch 
plasma screen TV is not going to explode in your face if you have three wires connected to it and you're going to yank on it. Now that's the logic that WWE is putting out to us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dumb finish. Just a head scratcher. I'm happy White got the win. Ambrose needs a big win soon. Why picks up the win? Yippee. I mean, no, what am I supposed to say? Great. What's next for Wyatt? This feud is over. I mean, there's nothing much left to do. Um, Ambrose probably will not be at Raw unless they have something going down. Um, I don't know. Am Am Bray Wyatt wins. TLC sucked. Man, what a, I hope I hope that this was the end of all these bad pay-per-views. I hope this was the end of all these bad, horrible roles. They did the turn it around because the new year is coming, and I hope 2015 is not what we saw last night at TLC's. There's nothing more I can say. Thank you for watching. You know, more stuff will come soon. You know, it's the it's December time, and we're getting into the holiday uh, spirit. We're getting the Christmas spirit, baby. And, um, you know, I have more videos coming, like WrestleMania 30 stuff. Uh, I have a figure collection video coming on Christmas Eve, and that's my Christmas present. Last year was a DVD collection. This year is a figure collection. And, um, yeah, uh, maybe a Q&A, maybe a shout-out video. Got a, lot, got a lot of cool stuff going on, man, uh, and new projects I'm going to be working on for this channel. Thank you very much for watching, and deuces.